Would you drink this glass of water if it came right out of your toilet after you use the toilet? Well, that is the plan of California liberal politicians under something called toilet to tap, recycling sewage water and putting it right back in to your drinking water system. Coming up, we'll tell you why this is a bad idea and that there's something a little bit more stinky about it than the obvious. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and 15 years ago when I was first elected to the San Diego City Council, there was a big proposal that the public was very much against. It was called Toilet to Tap. See, a bunch of these environmentalists came out and they said, you know, uh, we need water for the fishes, and so human beings are a nuisance. Um, but yeah, we don't want people to you know, die of dehydration. So what we're going to propose is that we recycle potty water, sewage water, uh, and put it right back into the tap. And they called it toilet to tap. Um, of course, the public in San Diego did want, not want this at all and overwhelmingly pushed back against this idea. I led a charge to not approve this concept. And while I was on the city council, we, we were able to fend off this terrible idea. After I left, of course, the liberals took over and San Diego implemented the one of the first in the nation, large municipality toilet to tap pilot projects. And they said that they would be able to recycle sewage, sewage water and that it would be as clean as anyone would expect. Yeah, right. Uh, so that people would want to be able to drink it and feel comfortable drinking it. Well, uh, billions and billions of dollars later, we still don't have the toilet to tap system in San Diego. And I guess that's a good thing that the bureaucracy has wasted a bunch of money and we actually don't have to drink uh, sewage water out of our tap. Uh, but let me tell you that this is not just about water scarcity. In fact, I don't even think it is about water scarcity. There's another hidden agenda here, and we're going to get to that hidden agenda in just one moment. Uh, but here is the, um, the the story in the Associated Press, because San Diego as a municipality did this back in like 2014, 2015, 2016 timeframe after I left the, the San Diego City Council. The headline today, California is set to become second state to okay rules for turning wastewater, sewage, into drinking water. Of course, the media uh, doesn't want to use the, uh, the, uh, the, the term toilet to tap. They, they prefer to use a water recycling narrative. Um, so here is the story. It talks about when a toilet is flushed in California, the water can end up in a lot of places. The ice in a skating rink. I don't know if anyone's licking the, the ice on a skating rink floor, so I, I wouldn't mind that. The manufactured snow on ski slopes? Mm, okay, I think there are some kids that actually, you know, make snowballs and, and eat it, so I would be very worried about that. In pipes providing, providing irrigation for farmland? Well, I'm not terribly concerned about that because, again, we fertilize farmland. Oh, but here's where you lose me and a lot of other people. Coming soon in your drinking glass. Again, I, I get that we're all part of Mother Nature and that this water has been drank by other people and it has flowed over a bunch of dirty places, but it gets somehow, to me, purified. I have added filters here at the house. So, but um, I trust this. What I don't trust and what I don't find necessary is this concept of taking the sewage and directly putting it into the drinking water system. And that's what's being proposed here. And it's completely unnecessary and it's pretty uh, sickening. Um, the article basically says that California has a problem. We don't have a source of drinking water. Well, um, we do. We have uh, a plentiful supply of water. The problem is that under our California dysfunctional water policy, that the government has chosen to flush half to 60% of our water each year out to the ocean. 
They don't want to save water for uh, years when we have a drought, you know, years when we have a big um, uh, uh, snowstorm, snowpack, lots of rain. They don't want to build reservoir capacity because these people want scarcity. They want to create a crisis. They want to have government in control of how much we can use and fine us and charge us extra when we use too much water. Um, There is no need to have a direct toilet-to-tap recycling program. Now, again, I have no problem with wastewater treatment. That is a clean thing to do. That's what we should be doing. Um, But I do have a problem with us putting it right back into the drinking water supply without having Mother Nature do its wonderful work um, over a series of of different stages. Um, The toilet to tap program uh, is not just icky from a conceptual standpoint. And I know there's a lot of people out there who will say, well, Carl, again, at some point, this water came from someone's toilet. Uh, You know, the water has been used by others. We're downstream. This is just natural. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on that I'm not necessarily trusting government to to, to do. Mother Nature does a whole lot better job in the natural ecosystem. Uh, But let me tell you why toilet to tap is not just icky from a water standpoint. It's really disgusting from a corruption standpoint. Let me start first, though, before I set up this, in asking you about your thoughts on the California High Speed Rail Program. You probably don't like it, right? You think it's a waste, right? You think it's absurd. It's a boondoggle. All those things would be correct. It's all of those things and more. It is a complete corrupt fleecing of taxpayers. But it is a train, maybe eventually at some point down the road uh, or down the tracks. And people can say, well, yeah, I guess some people might use a high-speed rail, but I don't think we should build it because it's a waste and it's not going to really serve a whole lot of people. But it, you still have a train, right? You still have the concept that, that you know some people will say you have something of value, even if it's absurdly expensive and it's not going to serve a whole bunch of people. Well, people might say that a toilet-to-tap program is, on the face of it, beneficial. But let me explain why why toilet to tap and the high speed rail project are very similar. In fact, it's not it's basically the same scam. Why do we really have a high speed rail project? You guessed it. Not for transportation. Not because we need a high speed rail train in California. Not because anyone's going to actually use it. Not because it's cost effective. We have a high speed rail project so that politicians can reward their campaign con- contributors that that they can give these um, uh, contractors and union members and uh, you know uh, special interests big old payoffs with your money. That's what this is. It's a scam. Now, it looks like it's a, a legitimate project. <clears throat> I know I say that in air quotes because we know it's a complete um, scam. But they do it under the guise of, oh, yeah, this is a legitimate project. The same is true of toilet to tap. Consider it the water pipe version of the high-speed rail project. Because who's going to build the treatment plant? Who's going to put in all the extra piping? Who's going to be doing all this work? Well, take a look at where it started in California, in San Diego, uh, California, the city of San Diego. Says, pure water, San Diego signs first ever Project labor deal to help revive stalled $5 billion project. Project labor deal? What does that mean? That the only people who get to build, construct, or work on the toilet to tap infrastructure, you guessed it, union members who pay dues into the political fund that then absolutely generates political contributions for corrupt politicians. This is never about water. It's never been about water, just like high-speed rail has never been about transportation. This is about make work projects to create a contract stream with your taxpayer dollars and your higher water rates, by the way, because all this is financed by the illegal taxation 
by adding uh, fees to your water bill, uh, making water uh, exponentially more expensive. So that these special interest corrupt players can get your money. Oh, sure. Eventually, after billions and billions and billions of dollars, you will be drinking toilet water directly, toilet to tap. This is insane. This is not something to celebrate of, oh, this is modern, it's innovative, it's technology, it's, it's uh, you know, adapting to a scarce water environment. No, the scarcity was created by the politicians. Now they're taking advantage of that scarcity to create a make-work boondoggle project, just like they did with high-speed rail. In California, we have got to educate voters. And I, I got to tell you, as someone who fought against toilet to tap, when you explain toilet to tap, um, people have an ick factor. And then you say, follow the money and the fact that your water bill is financing all the corruption for the project, at least high-speed rail. Well, we are paying for it with the gas tax, with the cap and trade uh, fund. Um, but with the toilet to tap programs, it's all going to be on your water bill. And that's something that you have to write a check for once a month, every other month. Uh, and that's why we have water rates that are four to five times the national average here in California. It's only going to get worse. So toilet to tap, spread the word. What I want you to do is share this video, like this video so we can break through the algorithm and comment below. Are you okay drinking toilet to tap water? Um, or do you agree that it's an ick factor that's unnecessary, that water scarcity is self in, imposed by the politicians and that this is nothing more than a boondoggle? Comment below. It helps us with the algorithm. Also, um, let me know. Let me know uh, if you want to run for a water board, <laughs> because one of the best ways that we can stop this boondoggle from coming to your neighborhood is to get good water board members elected in every community. Yes, at Reform California. We are trying to recruit, train, mentor, and support and endorse candidates for every office, including water board. That's why I say there's no position in government that's irrelevant. Everyone needs to be involved. There's um, plenty of opportunity for corruption and fleecing of taxpayers in every single government enterprise. Even the mosquito abatement district is a risk with bad leadership. So go onto the website, reformcalifornia.org, reformcalifornia.org, chip in a contribution. Let us know if you're willing to run for one of the water boards or a city or county position so that you can help us in the fight against this crazy idea. Until next time, drink up, stay hydrated, provided that you're not drinking from the toilet, uh, and uh, join our fight to re restore some semblance of sanity in California. Until next time, Carl DeMaio, Chairman, Reform California. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so you can stay up to date on all the developments in California news and politics. Also, please visit the website, reformcalifornia.org, for ongoing news coverage and to join one of our campaigns in the fight to take back our state. If you can, please sign up as a volunteer or chip in a contribution. This episode of Reform California with Carl DeMaio, paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly 2024.